Hello students, hope you all are doing well. Uh, I am Supreet Kaur, welcomes all of you on our YouTube channel Smart PT Tricks. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for your love and support. And today I am here to announce, yeah, announce that now we are arranging our online classes again. For some circumstances, we were not arranging online classes and we got some complaints from all of you who are interested. But uh, now we are arranging online classes on time, especially reading and speaking modules. And if you are interested, you can contact us on the number given below as our contact preferences are changed now. And uh, again, I would like to thank all of you from depth of my heart because for with your love and support, we are reaching here and uh, keep supporting. For all his fame and celebration, William Shakespeare remains a mysterious figure with regards to personal history. There are just two primary sources for information on the Bard, his works, and various legal and church documents that have survived from Elizabethan times. Naturally, there are many gaps in this body of information, which tells us little about Shakespeare the man. As with all human behavior, there are numerous reasons for it. But often it's caused by someone who feels the need to show their superiority over someone else, in order to feel that they aren't at the lowest level in hierarchy or a group of people. In some cases one person simply dislikes the other, on the basis that the personality of one is in some way incompatible with that of the other person. Those of you who've never heard the term Neo-Latin may be forgiven for thinking it's a new South American dance craze. If you're puzzled when I tell you it has something to do with the language of Romans, take heart. Over the years many classes who have confessed they're not really sure what it is either. Some have assumed that they're so-called late Latin, written at the end of the Roman Empire. For the first time, Japanese researchers have conducted a real-life experiment that shows how some traffic jams appear for no apparent reason. They place the 22 vehicles on a single track and ask the drivers cruise around at a constant speed of 30 km an hour. At first, traffic moves smoothly, but soon, the distance between cars started to vary and vehicles clumped together at one point on the track, but the jams spread backward around the track like a shockwave at a rate of about 20 km an hour. Real-life jams move backward at about the same speed. The effect of the first difference is, on the one hand, to refine and enlarge the public views, by passing them through the medium of a chosen body of citizens, whose wisdom may best discern the true interests of their country, and whose patriotism and love of justice will be least likely to sacrifice it to temporary or partial considerations. 